The Oogleby's project is one of my favorite projects. I wrote some of these Oogleby songs and came up with them. And I was in England a while back, not this trip, but I don't know, eight years ago, however, I don't know exactly. And Rupert called me, he says, do you still have the Oogleby's? I said, yes, he said, I got an idea for it. And when I came back to the States, we started working on it and he helped me develop it. I wrote some songs, we came and I wrote a story and he helped me come up with some of the characters and concepts and we got a whole Oogleby concept going. I love a good rhyme and I love kids and I saw an opportunity to find a metaphor through, I th it must have been his original idea, but it wouldn't have been mine. And we just started developing it together because we're very much in sync, both in the rhyme category and in the messaging. Basically, it's a family of bees that help people and do good, most of them, but they have the bully bees, they have wizard bee, Flakelin Kabuchkin, the green bubble bee. I think Stephen would write a poem and it would be about a character. And I would pick up on the character and take it a little further and then he'd come back with more verses. Uh, and they all, they, all of the ideas addressed a human problem, whether it's over obesity, something that was affecting kids, selfishness, greed, bullying, uh, insecurity. So each one of them, and all I had to do, as long as there was a positive message in there, was say I want to do something in this particular area, and I'd get another poem on my email. You know, he's very prolific, as you know. So the process was always Stevie's first, and then my additions, and then his revisions to my additions, and that was it. We were in, there's a lot of there's a lot of Rupert in there, but it's. The creative side of the verse writing is primarily Stephen. We may start with a book. We may take the book which is written and see if we can get a book. I may start by animating Thingamabobakajigger because I have the storyboards done by my cousin. And I think on YouTube the Thingamabobakajigger could be a hit. And you, who knows how seeds get planted. But I think there's a universality to Thingamabobakajigger that parents would love for their kids and vice versa. It was a thing of a bump and a jigger, and it kept getting bigger and bigger. Nothing could stop this thing of a bump, this thing of a bump and a jigger. Our oogle bees, yeah, it comes from Steve, the rhymes, and all have to do with the same message about love. I mean, Stephen is a walking bundle of love. It's a beautiful world if you take time to live in it. It's a beautiful world if you take time to love in it To help one another along To help one another along yeah, He's not ashamed to be in love with the world and ashamed to, or ashamed to be in love with his friends and to express it in his poetry. Uh, he's always searching for love and so were the Oogleby's. So we started with the notion that this was a dysfunctioning family of bees that were, had been split up and were all over the country and then we found the, uh, the metaphor for the Rose Bowl, that cruising over the Rose Bowl and looking for a place to live, what could be better than a bowl of roses? So they made their home in the Rose Bowl and they became a family. And in the strength of being together, they were stronger as one than they had been when they were disunited. The first book I wrote was about Kippy Clopper, the baby grasshopper who couldn't hop. The uh, Oogleby's saw him one day crying on a leaf and they came down and, and he was crying because he didn't know how to hop. And the Oogleby's came and helped him and, and transformed him. And then Dark Hopper said, stay off of our grass kid and was kind of mean to him and pushing him out. And then the Oogleby's trained him and, and he learned to overcome adversity. He learned to hop and then they issued a challenge and he became the fastest hopper of all the Oogleby's. And then there's other characters that come in, weave in and out of these stories. It's, uh, it's basically all the stories of life. Steve's message is always positive. The Oogleby's are totally positive. And in fact, when we got, when I arranged for the composer who I'd worked with before, Misha, to join Stevie and me in the, writing the songs, and we were going to do the album, the, the, 
the recording, the demos, um, we reached out to uh, kids who had emotional problems and were in a foster home. So in a sense, they were Oogleby kids and they had remarkable voices because they had a remarkable singing teacher. And through her, we brought these kids in and they got strength through doing the Oogleby songs. And so it's just kind of like under, 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 underlying everything that we do. And I'm very much in sync with Stephen's message. And that's a message of positivity and love.